has image view full image and that's the link to the image itself mm. we don't actually need this part as well so what we might do here in case we may need to view the full image here as seen here but instead of asking if we have an image uh, let's go back to our thing here if we do have an image we'll have a file in here so all we have to do is check if that file exists that's in here so what I can do is just say if file underscore exists so let me open and close bracket like so if the file exists uh, then we do this this way we don't get that error anymore refresh okay on line 59 we still have that problem oh so instead of has image it's supposed to be file sorry about that refresh and there we go okay so now here, uh, undefined index uh, post ID here on line 73. Okay, let's go to line 73. Mm -hmm. So we obviously do not have post ID, but we have message ID. But what are we looking for here exactly? Why are we asking the question? It's because we want to display the edit button, but we don't need an edit button on messages. So this whole thing is irrelevant. Okay, delete, maybe. So let's go back here and refresh. Okay, so we don't get that delete button as well uh, because we need to go back and change our own content, what that ex exactly what that means for messages so that it can accommodate these as well. So let's look at some more errors here. Let's look at 92 and 107. So 92, where is 92? There we go. So select likes from likes. So we definitely do not need this post ID. We would have changed that to message ID, but we don't need this whole segment because it's talking about likes what you liked and all that so I liked from here uh, this is all about likes and likes and likes up to the closing tag there so let's just select everything here because it's all irrelevant and delete refresh okay uh, we are good to go one more here user ID online 25 so let's go to line 25 Mm hmm so here we'll convert this to msg id refresh and there we go okay so this is what we have left now let me come back here for a second and see id posts okay all right so so far so good Hmm. Okay, so we can put a, uh, a few more. Oh, so that's the date there, right? Okay, so instead of that date, we can use our um, time. Where is that date exactly? And there we go. So we can say something like uh, time, get time, is that what it is, get time, let me test it, let's try that, refresh, okay, so that's a better view there, right there, okay, so, so far so good, now let's let, make it look more messagey, I think. If this isn't uh, messagey enough, the first thing we have to do is this is the left side uh, that shows the messages you received. 
So it shouldn't go all the way to the edge here. So what I will do now is go back here a bit. Let's go to, okay, so the ID is post here. Let's add a few styles there. Let me change this to message. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we get a whole different vibe there. All right. So good. Let's go to header and see what we can change there. All right. So I'm looking for the styles here. This is uh, messages php let's come up here instead of going that side i'm looking for posts post there it is so what i want to do is duplicate post and change it to message like that let me refresh okay there we go so let's change a few things here, for example. Um, margin bottom should be re uh, reduced to something like maybe eight pixels. And then it shouldn't just be the bottom, it should just be margin so that there's a margin throughout, even at the top, like that. They look more individual this way. And then what else do we have here? Font size, padding, that's fine. And then, uh, display flex um, oh yeah that's for flexing what's inside okay so now the width for this is let's try 80 percent something like this okay that way they look like they're on one side so let's try something even smaller maybe 60 percent okay so their message is here and there'll be messages here. So let's try also to float them to the left. Refresh. Okay, there we go. Hmm. There we go. All right, so message here. So uh, this is just a uh, design. So you can design this um, in any way that you want just to make it uh, look your own way. For example, can add a border radius as well. Oh, let's try uh, maybe 10 pixels, something. Yeah, so to make them look more messagey. Okay, so then let's try and put a few. Let's call this one message left. And then I will duplicate this, as you might have guessed. To create message right like so and this one will obviously float to the right everything else remains uh, pretty much the same so let me come down here and okay there we go the message hmm. come here as a message left Hmm. Now here, because we will need different kind of messages, so I will call this one message left as well, .php. So let's come back here, message.php. Let's rename this one to message left. Hmm. Then let's open the containing folder and then uh, copy and paste. And then let's rename this one to message right. Let's open. Oh, that's already open. Message right. There we go. So I'll change that to right. Okay. So now, as you can see, we are still getting just to one side of the messages. So in the next video, we'll see how to get messages from the other side as well. I'll see you then.